welcome back to my channel. Um, so on Instagram, I think about like two days ago, I left a story for you guys to, you know, answer the question. And it said, thinking about my next YouTube video, what would you guys like to see? And it was between nighttime skin routine and top current favorite products. And the one that won was nighttime skin routine. So today, my video is going to be on nighttime skin routine. I have several skin routines just because I like to switch it up day to day. Some days I'll use an acid and some days I won't use an acid. Um, some days, sometimes I use um, more products, some days I'll use less, some days I'm super lazy. And some days um, my skin might be acting differently. Like right now my skin is like fine. So I'm exhausted. Um, I have no makeup on my face. There's no concealer on my face, um, nothing. So today I had class and I had two midterms today. School has been kicking my ass. I have class at 8 in the morning and I drive, for people that live in New York, I have to drive to Nassau. And I live in Suffolk County, so to drive to Nassau at um, 7.30 in the morning is absolutely hell. So me waking up alone at 6 in the morning is absolutely hell. I don't know about how you guys can do it. Um, I don't do it, so my hair hasn't been done for a while. I'm actually getting my hair done tomorrow at the salon, which I don't know how I'm going to do because I'm so tired. Um, my face isn't done, but right now it's been acting good. Like, this is me with, like, nothing on my face. It's been pretty, you know, it's been good. So, let's get right into it then. I'm going to make this one short because I'm tired and I need to get ready for class tomorrow and I want to go to bed. Sorry about the, um, mess. I'm unpacking still, which I came back from Miami about like two weeks ago and I still haven't unpacked. And we're redoing stuff in my room, so that's why there's boxes over there. Um, yeah. So the first thing I do if I'm wearing concealer, and sometimes I do it even if I'm not wearing concealer, is I use this product. And it's called Garnier Skin Active. Um, and it's just a water that I use to remove the makeup. Um, I use one that's mattifying because I have really, really oily skin. So this video also is for people with oily skin. If you don't have oily skin, then I don't suggest you continue watching this. If you would like to, go ahead. But I have extremely oily skin. More combination, because like over here, I'm like completely fine. Um, so I use this, and when I use this, I like to grab one of these. Um, I wet it, and then I just, you know, go around my face and take anything off. I like to do about two of these with this. Um, this does not clean your face perfectly, so don't just use this. You know, you need to wash your face after this. Sometimes I'm lazy, like if I'm coming from somewhere and I'm really, I'm out extremely late, I tend to just use this and I'm like, alright, I'm gonna go and put on my other products now. I'm not gonna wash my face. Um, sometimes it's okay, sometimes my skin is like, um, no. The next one I will use is this one. Um, so when it comes to face wash, I don't find using an expensive face wash to be all that worth it. I mean, cool, if you think it works for you, that's awesome. For me, it um, this works perfect. So it's your charcoal, deep pore charcoal cleanser. Um, it's for oily skin, but you can also use it if you have combination skin. Um, this one I think was $10 at Walmart. I have the value size. The smaller size is I think like $6.50 I want to say, somewhere around there. Um, but I had a coupon. So I'm really big on coupons. If you know, if you want me to get into that, that could be another video. Um, it was a $2, $3 coupon. So it ended up coming out to about the same price as a smaller one would. So I got this size. So basically what I do is I use this and then I use my Clarisana Nia 2. So I put, I wash, I wet my face first, then I put it on here, and then I just go around and put it on my face and wash my face. So the Mia 2, the difference with the Mia 2 is that it has two different um, settings. So it has a low setting, and then it has an even higher setting. Um, if I am wearing concealer or for some reason I'm ever wearing foundation because I absolutely hate foundations, you will probably never see me do a makeup video just FYI um if I am wearing concealer which I'm currently not which sorry my bags are like serious um I like to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea deep dive 
I got this product um, for free. Um, it's a deep dive makeup moving cleanser. It's a gel cleanser, so I kind of like it. Um, basically, this hasn't broke me out. A lot of a lot of um, removers they don't really work for me, or they'll work for a short amount of time, and then all of a sudden they'll just stop working, and my face will break out. My face gets used to a lot of products, but when I find a product that my face doesn't get used to, but it works, I like to stay to that. So I've been using the Bior for a year now. I want to say a year, and my face has been has been working. It just works for me. So I use this. Um, when I use this one, sometimes I'll just go with my hands because I won't use the Clarisonic Choice. Um, I'll use this or I'll use um, the Foreo. And this one costs $89.99, but I got it for free in my FabFit Fun box. And basically, it vibrates. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It vibrates, but it's not an exfoliator. Um, it does make your skin feel soft, but not as soft, not as soft as if you did use an exfoliator. So then, after that, when I finish that, I toners. Toners are very important. I use a couple of different toners. I have a new toner that I use during the daytime, but during the nighttime, um, if my face is acting up, I'll use Witch Hazel, um, the cucumber one, which I've been currently using. I currently use this one. I like this one a lot because like you just you just spray it and it works. So I'll spray it on my face. Um, I like to let products fully really dry. I don't know about you guys. Um, some people they don't let their products dry. I love to let my products dry. So I'll leave each product on by itself for about five minutes. I use this one. Um, I used to use the rose petal one, but I stopped using it. Um, not saying that doesn't work. It works amazing. But I just felt like you know. I wanted something different. So I tried this one and I feel like it works the same as the um, rose petal and my face actually has been, you know, doing really well. So I'm gonna keep using this one right now for the nighttime and you know wait till I finish and when I finish I'll think about if I wanna go to something else. So after I have this for about five minutes, um, again guys, this is just one of my skin routines. It's not what I do every single day. So if you guys wanna see my other ones, just let me know. I'll use this. Um, I recommend this to everybody. Um, this was recommended to me by a friend, and I also saw it a lot on Instagram. Um, I've always been into like skincare, but I was always too shy to like do these types of videos. So I'm now trying to get out of my shell and trying to find like a miniature hobby of mine. So this is called Invigorating Night Transformation Gel, and I'll leave everything down below for you guys. And you guys, you know, just let me know what you guys think. If you tried it, if you know I've recommended it to you and you used it and you like it, um, let me know what you guys think. So I'll do. I usually do, I'm not going to do it now, I'm not going to put it on my hand, I'm just going to show you. I do one pump, and then I'll rub it into my face like this, and I'll rub, and I'll rub, and I'll rub. I like to let that one dry for about 10 minutes, 10 minutes, because I want to make sure it's like, you know, deep into my skin, and my skin is dry, and this one takes a little more time, because again, it's a serum. So... After, while I'm letting this dry, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll go into my um, my closet and I'll find my outfit for work or whatever I'm doing. I'll uh, go brush my teeth. I'll go get ready for bed, whatever. So after that's dried for about 10 minutes or so, I use my moisturizer. So the current moisturizer that I use is by the same brand, and it's called Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I love this. Um, I think the price is $34.95, I want to say. Um, I use this only at nighttime because it makes my face extremely oily. Extremely oily. I don't know why, I, but it makes your skin glow. Like your skin will like, it'll. oh my god, it's beautiful. But the only problem is that it makes me so oily that when I wake up, I, feel, like, I can just, I can feel the oil on my face. But when I wash it off, my face feels so refreshed, like I don't want to stop using it. And it's still brand new, like I've had it for a while, a little bit goes such a long way. So then I'll let that dry for about five minutes, and then when that's finished drying, I'm trying to make sure I don't leave anything out. I like to use a eye cream, 
I have many eye creams that I get for free. I will not buy a freaking eye cream. I don't care. I have really dark circles and my dark circles are hereditary. So they're not going anywhere. They're not going to go anywhere. There's not going to be a cream that's going to help them go anywhere. I'm convinced. Um, if you would like to prove me wrong and you have hereditary dark circles under your eyes and you found one that has worked for you, please let me know. I'm dying to find one. But I'm just convinced, honestly, that I don't. So I got this one for free. I mean... It's not going to do much for me, but, um, yeah. So, it's by the pharmacy brand, and it's called Do It All. I got this for free again. Um, such a little bit goes a long way, man. I mean, like, you just touch your finger and you just rub it under your eye, and I let that sit in for about two minutes. So, while that's sitting in, I go now go over... So I recently just bought this. Um, I used to use a Neutrogena brand that my friend recommended to me. Um, he uses that every day and he loves it. I love it too, but I felt like my skin got used to it so I stopped using it. But I still feel like I need benzoyl peroxide in my life because I get like these little bumps right here. And I still feel like I need it because I'll break out a little bit. And then I found this one. It's Clean and Clear Bursa Gel 10 with 10% benzoyl peroxide acne medication um it's the maximum strength if you have sensitive skin i don't recommend this um sometimes my skin even gets um, when i wash it off it'll be like a little red for a while um but again it works but i wouldn't use it if you have sensitive skin like definitely not um, it might burn you i mean again it has it's the maximum that you could use so then after that um I like to moisturize my lips. Um, this is just one of the current ones, chapsticks that I'm using right now, but um, I use many chapsticks. Like, I lose every single chapstick. I don't know how people can like finish their chapsticks. Like, it's almost impossible. So the one that I'm using right now is by Drunk Elephant, and it's called Lippy Balm. Um, it's just a basic chapstick. The only thing I don't like about it is how wide it is. Like. It's so wide, but um, it works well. The only problem is my lips will decide whether it wants to react to it or not. So I have really sensitive lips. So what happens to me when I get allergic reactions on my lips is that I'll get bumps like all right here and then all right here. And then sometimes I'll get it literally on my lip right there. So what I've been using, I used to use Abriva for cold sores. And yes, it's for cold sores. But if your lip gets an allergic reaction like mine does where you can break into hives, use it. It works the same. You don't even have to have a cold sore. It works. So, but when I went to Target, you know, I couldn't find uh, Abriva. It was actually sold out. So I bought this brand called by CarMax and it's called Cold Sore, cold sore Treatment this little tiny thing I think it was like eleven dollars I love it more than a Breva I love it more so basically what it does it like kind of it kind of feels like it's numbing you so I used it yesterday and here it is you can see it and it's going away pretty well um, it works so then sometimes I'll use this too rarely so I haven't I don't know if it really works or not but that's about it on my skincare routine. Um, oh, this one. One more. One more. I use this. It's called Overnight Clearing Gel. So, a while back, I used to have a lot of issues right here and I, right here. And I couldn't figure out why I was getting these. Um, I didn't know what they were called. So I messaged my friend and I was like, why do I have like all these bumps? And this is when I wasn't really into like researching skincare products and researching why things happen to your body. Um, and she's like, you know, it might just be excess oil. So I'm like, okay. So what I used to get was a blackhead extractor and I used to go like this every night. And it worked, but it was so annoying that I had to do it every single night. Like I was literally every night going like that. And sometimes like you're tired and you don't want to do it. So I was doing research, doing research, doing research. I wanted the top product and then I found this overnight clearing gel and it had great reviews for sebums it was meant for sebums so I was like all right let me try this um, I didn't want to buy the full-size product because it was like $40 alone so what I did was I bought the package uh, this package that came with like five different products and in the products um, that alone cost $43.99 I bought that at Ulta um, $43.99 and then this came in it and about a week later I mean I was using it every single night a week later BAM! 
my sebums are gone. I've been slacking a lot on my skincare routine just because like I'm so exhausted from school. I'm so exhausted from going driving 40 minutes to work every day, driving home, etc, etc. Um, so then I haven't been really using this and my sebums are starting to come back so I do gotta step up my game. Um, but that's about it on my skincare routine. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, if you have any comments, please let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions on any more videos that you would like me to do, because I'm kind of like confused on what to do now. Like, you know, once how many skincare products can you really talk about? So I'm going to have to make up something. But thank you guys. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Bye!